This is The Trees Hate You. Get it at otfi.com slash cedar. Ooh, I found some poop. There was a mouse in your house. Don't be a louse. <laughs> Pull up your blouse. The trees hate you. They're fucking your nose. They're fucking your nose. They're up your nostrils. Oh man, I forgot all about the jizzing up your nostrils. But I didn't forget that it's Tuesday night, and that means it has got to be go time for Night Attack, bringing you the best of the worst of the internet ever since 1776. Hello to you beautiful people, I'm Brian Brushwood, live in Austin, Texas. Joined as always by my BFF and OAK, it's J-R-Y, Justin Robert Young in Oakland, California. I've got gargle throat, let me drink and you talk. Hey! Everybody, uh, uh, holy crap, man! Uh, 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 Bonnie, just uh, 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 such such a a, a a amazing performer. Uh, yeah, I was hoping that she would. Uh, she was she was talking some big game today. She was saying she was going to make um uh oh what was what was the clever name for the pigs that she was making the, the cl- pigs uh, yeah uh wait the. The clay pl- pigs that she was making on in the pre-shows and stuff? Yeah, but she had like a clever pun name for it. Mm. I'll remember it before the show's over. But she okay. was saying that she wanted to make one of those during the show and then use her computer to set up a second Twitch studio inside this Twitch studio <laughs> so that you could just watch the clay her pigs. Making clay pigs during this show. Yeah. Yeah, and she didn't think that would be distracting. Lazy pigs. That's Crazy what she pig. called them. Yeah, no, no, no. That's yeah, yeah. I, I guess I guess I got caught off in in, in in the Skype ducking, but yeah, no, no. It was the crazy. Oh, my leg fell off. <laughs> that's right. Yes, crazy pigs. <laughs> uh, but uh, but I guess she's still tucking in the kids. The kids have been man. They're a handful on a snow day like this. We're having the. They're calling it the ice apocalypse, where we had a storm in the shape of a giant penis. Across uh, Texas and to Alabama, did you see this? Really? No, I didn't see the dick. The dick, fro- dick frost. Everybody, <laughs> dick, dick, dick uh, just uh, frosty tips is what they call them. Uh, the I don't think I put it on my Twitter. It was oh no, actually, there's an email. Go to, if you look at last night's email, you'll find it. On, oh, sorry, I mean in my Twitter feed, I tweeted out a link to the email. Okay. Uh, but. Uh, uh, yeah, so we got like an inch of frozen rain. Yeah, there you go. Take a look at that. Looks, looks like, like a, a bone to me, right? That's a penis. <laughs> right? Uh, it's jizzing With on the tip of Mississippi. Balls. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Where the those source are, yeah, those are, 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 are some. That's a hell of a set on that ice Those storm. are big, bulbous balls. <laughs> those are some long balls. Man, Harris Dick, County? Dick, Dick, the long balls. And, 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 and Hayes and Travis County? Where all the, the creative juices get flowing, and then they just go shooting past Dallas, because fuck Dallas, and then they land right on yeah. Little Rock. Yeah, sorry, Little Dallas. Cock. You don't get the big dick. You, 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 that, that's the real big D. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the D-Man, America. The D stands for my dick. So wait a minute. Like, this is the second or third time that it's snowed in Austin this winter. This is the third time it snowed. And get mm-hmm. this, it's supposed to maybe snow again in 48 hours. That's that's looking like it's warmed up a bit. Oh, good. So I, 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 don't necess- I think it'll still be cold as shit, but I don't think it'll. Yeah, because it I take cold snow. shits. I, now, have, how, I, ta- I, is... I have ice cube enemas to keep my shits very enemas? cold. I don't. Yeah, I don't... Yeah. <laughs> Brian's, you... Brian's a new stand up routine. I... <laughs> you ever take a shit and it's just too warm? <laughs> and you're like, oh my God, what is this balmy shit I'm taking? <laughs> I gotta cool that bitch right down. I, I mean, gotta... <laughs> I mean, hot shits be all like plaque. <laughs> cool <laughs> shits be all like ploop. Ooh. <laughs> like, hey, bro, puts on sunglasses. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, there we go. Cool shits here. <laughs> bro, <laughs> new new character. Cool with, uh, guys, uh, how are you doing? Oh, hey, you doing? Uh, cool shits. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hey, cool shit it. sounds like you just got out of rehab. I uh, didn't. I'm good. <laughs> You're having, are you having a tough time, cool shit? No, I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool. <laughs> okay. I'm now, now good. what is it you got against the hot shits? Because I hear you guys have some. Is there ever turf wars? <laughs> yeah. With, is, there, is there any beef between you and warm and hot shits? Because yeah, the moment yeah. you press flush, it's all gen pop. You're all in the same. <laughs> The area, so I would assume that you'd have to, you'd have to, you know, preserve your faction. Well, I mean, we are one planet, but the the turd wars, <laughs> the the turd wars aren't easy on anybody. anybody. The tur- now the turd wars. What was what was that dividing issue that had everyone so upset? They, they yeah. decided sides of it. How many issues were there? Was it two? Well. <laughs> I think well, the number always, was two. Well, I think it was the number two issue. It was the number two issue on their on their ballot. Well, it was it was always a, a fierce. Uh, ooh, excuse me. Uh, ooh, nice and cool. A fierce competition between the craps and the bloods. Now, now, what did you think about that uh, short-lived trend where people who couldn't afford ice cubes were just taking Vicks Vapo Rub and putting it on their backside? Yeah, it's just ringing it, ring around the rosy with Vicks Vapo Rub. You know, it's not safe, but we had to make two. <laughs> it's not, and, and that's, we that's, had that's, to have the cool shits, bro. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, cool shits, everybody. Cool shits. <laughs> uh, uh, holy crap. Are, are people, like, uh, skidding off the road and stuff like that? Like, uh, is that happening? Because that, that's I, I always the hallmark of southern cities getting snow and ice. Yeah, and by the way, it's not that we're dumb, and we uh, we are dumb, uh, it's not that we're scared of what's different, although we are scared what's different. Uh, it's that it's that Texas, you know, it so rarely has the, these kind of events that that we just don't have the infrastructure. We don't have plows oh, yeah. at the ready. We don't have salt. We don't have gravel. There, there is shit. no. All right. I'm going to tell you what happened. DIC shit. Periodically in Florida. Uh, number one. Feel no shame for not knowing how to drive an ice. All these uh, fucking Nanook on the north motherfuckers are all like, well, whatever, you just get, you know, chains and then, you know, you wait till they salt down the roads. That doesn't happen, okay? Nobody has that shit. No one's ever had that shit. If you brought that shit into your, uh, you know, your, your family's house that lived in anywhere in the south where it doesn't snow, they'd, they'd kick you in the mouth. Uh, number two, driving an ice is very annoying and it takes a while to get a hang of like like it is it is something that is absolutely terrifying what? and what will happen after this is some uh, opportunistic folks from far away will come down and charge nine times as much to clean that stuff up and the next thing will be you know uh, Travis County uh, on the hook for bill for a uh, billion dollars to clean five uh, cubes of ice well and also ice you know if you're not seeing snow and and it's difficult to tell uh you know when it's w- just wet and when it's freezing over uh y- you can drive pretty fast for a long time thinking everything's fine not realizing you're a, a, a hover puck just yeah. drifting <laughs> aimlessly across across this uh, frictionless environment no, I, I skidded off the highway at least twice when I first was learning to drive in in snow and ice up in Syracuse. And I definitely slipped five times walking up to go see the snow monkeys uh, a, a week ago in Japan. Like me and ice and cold don't get along. Ain't never have. Ain't never will. The man last time I saw ice like, like this was 20 years ago when I was in college. And I remember I remember going down to Bonnie's uh, she lived in a trailer park at the time uh, she lived in a trailer and uh, and it was her and her Dalmatian and it was so cold that I was like it's not possible for you and your dog and this one uh, half cubic foot space heater to stay warm enough to stay alive it's up yeah. to me to save you and also possibly have sex with you up at my place on the north side of Austin. <laughs> and so what began as a, you know, like, hey, let's do this. Hey, look at us. We're, it's, it's, it's cold. Uh, definitely witnessed on that what was supposed to be a 35, 40 minute drive took about two hours. And I witnessed easily 20 crashes. Uh, and none of them life threatening, but, but just just cars, you know, just drifting, smashing it's into not- one another. Yeah, like just it's hard. It, it's weird. It, it's a weird thing to drive in ice. Like you have to steer into the skid, and there's like all this shit that you don't realize, and it's counterintuitive and fucking weird. All well, right, uh, but but uh, but in this case today, I took uh, a little bit of Schadenfreude. I opened up a uh, Google Maps and I put it on the traffic thing, 
and I looked, uh, and mainly because I was curious whether or not Bryce would even be able to make it out for the show. Mm -hmm. But then I saw that that there was just a few scattered uh, crashes up north. But then I went down to San Antonio. Everything was green in Austin with a little bit of trouble up north. And then I went down to San Antonio, and San Antonio was in a bad way. It was all well, red. Uh, by the way, for the first time in Austin's history, not being able to go more than three miles an hour on most major highways was a feature, not a bug. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Uh, like, so man, this gridlock is great. We can all very slowly, very safely roll our way home. Wait, None of this fucking breaking thirty degrees. What are we mad mad or thirty uh, miles an hour? We're not crazy. <laughs> uh, well, and then uh, you know, so uh oh, looks like uh, the guy in the lane over is about to slide over here. Let's do you know bumper cars, little nudge. You know, we're all just corpuscles in the veins of this city bouncing around. <laughs> Oh, shit, man. Uh, uh, well, I'll, I'll tell you what. It's uh, uh, it's crazy uh, that, that the, the weather's been so wild for, for so long out there. I wonder uh, how cold it's going to be when uh, when we come out there for South by. Yeah, we got to figure out all that South by Southwest situation. Yep, we, we will. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad, glad we had this, this good team meeting. Good team yeah, meeting. I mean, <laughs> we we got to gotta do something. <laughs> if I'm Ed Harris. You got to do something about the moon, guys. <laughs> Okay, we will. All right, great. <laughs> um, uh, hey, we well, did. Uh, man. We did. Uh, we did. I fly. We did the uh, the flying, the flying in the air in the. Now, tubes. Have, have you guys done that before, or was that just a a a goal that that Penny Penny was trying to hustle free I flies out of them, right? Yeah. Well, she didn't follow through with it, and I would have I would have backed her play, and we would have done a podcast about like learning to be awesome at flying or whatever. But she didn't see it through, um, so I'm blaming my daughter, I know, like a like great dad does. <laughs> exactly. Here we go. Well, you're old enough, kid. Here's the bus. <laughs> no. Uh, so, uh, but we went like four and a half years ago, maybe five years ago. Uh, in fact, uh, Josie was about Callie's age, and uh, we all went. We were a space family. It was it was fucking great. Uh, Callie just had the biggest shit eating grin. Uh, it was it was amazing. Uh, and but here's the part that blew my mind. And you're gonna love this, Justin. Uh, mm. We're getting suited up. They're handing out helmets, and Penny, with the eagle eyes, looks over and says, "What uh, what are those?" And then uh, they're like, "Oh, those are those are rolling out. Uh, they're, they're they're not ready. Uh, they're going to roll out uh, over the next few weeks." And you're like, and she's like, "Those look like uh, the same kind of helmets as these are, only with VR go goggles on them." Oh, goddamn! And I and I, and I was like, "Holy crap! Are you guys doing what I think you're doing?" And and they're like, "Yeah." And so you you are going to be in the tube. But when you look around in your VR, oh my god, I'm getting physically ill looking at this footage. Uh, you're you're gonna just look like you're falling to your death <laughs> while you're screaming in a wind tunnel, floating like you belong in Willy Wonka the Chocolate Factory. Holy shit! So so they're gonna they're like like you were going to simulate. You're, you're gonna be all... actually at terminal velocity, holding yourself yeah. suspended. And then, and you're going to be able to look all around you, and the, the VR visual input will be you wingsuiting off of a, a mountain or jumping out of a an airplane, and you will have a hundred percent of the physical sensation of yeah. what that is actually like. Wow! Wow! Right? Wow. Dude, that's fucking amazing. I mean, like, how much? Uh, how much longer until they do like, uh, 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 like crazy one? Like, not like, hey, you're simulating. Jumping out of an airplane, which is what this is kind of doing anyway, but like, you know, you're a pterodactyl and you're going to fly <laughs> through primordial. Dude, you oh. know what I could say? Here's what it's going to be. Is this going to be whole, a whole adventure vignette where it's like you'll uh, – uh, so imagine they build like a version of the iFly where it's got like a catwalk up top and then and it's yeah. like you go running down the catwalk in a VR adventure and you're like, oh, I'm coming to get you. And, and you're like, oh, but this catwalk, it's it's uh, three miles up and in space and Galactus is down there below. And you're like, yeah, yeah take Galactus this. Is like, hey, fuck your catwalk. Pew! Yeah. And then like <laughs> – you're like, ah, oh, I gotta fly now. Exactly. This sub dude kicks you, and then you're just falling forever. You're like screaming, <laughs> losing your shit. You're like, ah. I like to imagine just like your stereotypical, like uh, a tilt a whirl carny. <laughs> <laughs> 
half smoked cigarette. His just job is to kick you in the back. <laughs> He's just like Hulk smash. Have a good time, kid. Hands to your side. <laughs> Hands to your side. You're like, is that gum? Is that gum I'm seeing? We told you no gum. Uh, but it was great. It was, and it's so brilliant the way they uh, they usher you through that experience because once it's over, you're just super high on that endorphin rush. And then that's when they ask, hey, uh, how about uh, half price by uh, 11 minutes more, you know, at some future indetermined date? And they're like, yes, what a bargain. I will buy that. And then, you know, who knows if you'll ever go back. It's on so the that, other side of town. That's basically the idea is that they wait until you're all jazzed up and then they're like, hey, more money. And you're like, all of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it was super worth it. How about you, man? What, what did you do over the last week? You slept constantly? Oh, man. Yeah. A lot of sleeping. Uh, you know, not, 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 not a whole hell of a lot. I, uh, uh, you just kind of like getting, getting back to normal, you know, and just it, going, going to the old haunts, getting back into the old swing of things, uh, uh, trying to, man, it sucks ass. Like having that orgy of holidays from Halloween to new year's Eve. And then like all of a sudden January is just the bar lights come back on and it's like, oh, yeah, now the real world. And then there's no holidays Dude, from I, now until July. I am so excited to get back to work and to have a busy schedule. Uh, like, I am giddy at how much work. And it's going to be a lot of work. We're flying people in. We're going to launch a secret project for the Modern Rogue. We're, uh, uh, we, we are out of episodes of everything. So, as a matter of fact, when we finish this, in the middle, it's going to be fucking midnight. Yeah. It's going to be 17 degrees uh, out on icy roads. And I'm going to be randomly wearing a handlebar mustache for no apparent reason <laughs> in the scam school stand up for next week. Because I'm like, hey, man, I'm definitely just outside of whatever bar you saw me in. Definitely yeah. not freezing my ass <laughs> off half drunk on a Tuesday night. What's up? Uh, but but yeah. I'm, I'm excited because I, I like having lots to do. Um, we talked last week about some of the health stuff where it's like I've just channeled everything into just going to the gym all the time. And now yes. it's like I'm ready. I'm ready just to start kicking all the butts. I'm really stoked. You've just got, you've just got uh, tons of energy and, and tons of uh, uh, the, the positive mental attitude and follow through. Yeah, I got all the PMAs and the PSAs and the prostate exams. <laughs> and then the and the PUAs, I mean, the pickup artists. Usually, you don't need more than one, but you're like, "Come on, everybody, get a finger in there." I just want to make a triple sure. <laughs> uh, so, but but you sound like you're not so excited about getting back to uh, the grind. No, or? no, it's just. I mean, it's just hard to to kind of uh, uh, come off like you know uh, the, the 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 vacation and and uh, a lot of unreality, and then you're kind of snapped back to reality right like yeah. you're just you're now all of a sudden it's like okay now here we go let's go we're doing things and it's like you know th th there's uh, uh definitely a lot of like excitement that you have when i mean I, I had when i was on vacation just thinking of cool new things and hoping to do new things and we got a lot of cool stuff coming up we got the live show in san francisco we got uh, we're doing a live show uh along uh, we're doing a, a politics and uh jury live show uh uh at south by somewhere but we got to get all that stuff put together. We got cool new things in the pipeline. But it's like, all right, now go do it. Here you go. And unlike you, who has been dedicating all of his free time to going to the gym, I've been dedicating all my free time to being away from my home, uh, eating and drinking whatever I want and, and screwing up my sleep schedule. So uh, uh, that that is uh, I, I, I've I have not I am not quite filled to the brim. <laughs> With excitement, energy, and positive mental attitude. <laughs> hey, so there was a thing that almost happened <clears throat> that uh, that I want to ask Bryce if he thinks this would be a good idea to follow up on. Okay. Uh, uh, Bryce, <laughs> uh, last last week I was supposed to do a show up in Dallas that got canceled. Oh yeah, and uh, and I asked if you wanted to to work the the show because there's stage handingness that needs to happen and so on. Right, and you're all like, yeah, that's during. PAX South. Also, boss, I'm going to need you to cancel all of our shoots during <laughs> PAX South. Sorry, I'm never going to let you live that down. Um, but uh, but so I was thinking like, well, I, I don't think Brant wants to do it. I mean, I think he was happy for the time they spent on the road, but it doesn't strike. You know, he's super busy with the modern rogue. Sure. And then I was like, well, who can I call it in, in Dallas? 
And uh, and I thought, oh, shoot, maybe I should call Chad and see if he wants to, to come work that gig. And then I thought, wait a minute. Nick Wells lives in uh, Dallas. And Nick Wells was the guy that I did before Night Attack, before NSFW, before the Modern Rogue, before Scam School. Mm -hmm. My A year after YouTube came out, I did a 20-part series. <clears throat> called Brian Brushwood on the road, and it was me and Nick Wells at the height mm. of my college touring, just all the hijinks on the road. Yeah. And I was like, what if we just did a, uh, a episode of BBOTR, Brian Brushwood on the road, as if nothing ran, had changed? A random one-off, uh, uh, hey, listen, rebooting <laughs> old properties is all the rage in 2018. <laughs> <laughs> and just, and, and so, and uh, keep in mind, he's a very successful uh, uh, person now. He manages hotels and crap, yeah. but, and they're in the middle of like a, a hiring whatever, they're short-staffed or whatever, and he pulled a bunch of strings. He was just like, I got the day off, we're gonna do this. Oh, that's <laughs> and, great. And he's like, he's like, I've got my Brian Brushwood t-shirt. I was like, does yours still fit? Mine doesn't fit anymore. Because <laughs> we're both, we're a decade older and your sure. body's changed and yeah. everything. And, uh, and then it, the gig ended up being canceled. But now I'm wondering if maybe, maybe I should take him up to that gig in uh, New York because at Proctor's mm. up in uh, upstate New York, Schenectady, I'm doing a performing arts show. Oh, nice. And, uh, and uh, I don't know. I'm so entranced by this idea of doing that fun. just this artifact from the past. So yeah. I may or may not need you for that gig. I've, uh, i got <laughs> to see if I can. To shoot it or to tech it? <laughs> uh, oh, shit. I should. We should all three go. We, uh, you can shoot it, and then he can tech it. Okay. <laughs> if, he, if I don't have to tech it, okay. And then, <laughs> I mean, I'll be fine. No, I mean, that sounds fun. And That's, then, both, the, both, yeah, it sounds The fun. whole thing can be both of us like, how did we do this again? <laughs> like, like, how does the show go? <laughs> You're like, what is this bit? You, you don't do that bit anymore? No, that no. was 10 years ago. <laughs> uh, oh, that okay. sounds fun. I think that'll be good. That sounds fun. Uh, oh, uh, Scuba Nova Girl. So when, is, when is that? Is going, when is your when yeah, is your New York? Proctor's, uh, mid, mid February. If you if you search uh, Proctor's Brushwood, uh, P R O C T O R S Brushwood Bazaar. There we go. I'm sure that'll show up. Sure. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's uh, yeah. Don't get confused. Don't buy tickets to last year's events because you can only go if you have a time machine. Sure. Right. But uh, yeah, yeah, February seventeenth, twenty eighteen. There you go. God, that was a that was a fun show last time, and it was great it was hanging out with everyone afterwards. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we went and, and hung out with a bunch of like just fans of Night Attack who are never in the chat room. And yeah, like, no, uh, folks, yep. folks, folks drove like six hours up there and yeah. everything. It's going to be a blast. Uh, uh, fair warning. Um, not, not, oh, this is two shows. Uh, yeah. Well, we did two shows last time. Remember? No. We did back to back. You don't remember? <laughs> we don't. did a back to back. No. Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's very uh, cool. Anyway, uh, that'll be a fun time. Uh, dude, awesome. You want to know what else is a fun time? Whenever you open up your heart, so, but more importantly, your wallets, and uh, pay us money at patreon.com slash night attack. God, it's so yes. fun. It is so fun. <laughs> Taking oh your money. To open up my email and just it just says four years and they're still you're still making money. Being, it's, the dream is still alive. That's what They just send me an email once a month that says, still happening. We we don't yeah. believe it either. Uh, there's money for you, and uh, uh, money uh, 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 will will sure be in our pockets if you go over to <laughs> patreoncom slash night attack. But you want to know what? We're not just taking your money for no reason. Yes, we. We're, I mean, we're, no. <laughs> we're taking your money for a good reason. We pay for food, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 booze. <laughs> A lot of good things. You can't just walk into a store and say, give me that. They want money. <laughs> <Your pay. laughs> well, and keep, keep in mind, there are actual benefits. I don't want to short sell this. And one of the things we talk oh. about is is yeah. if you enjoy the hour and change that you get to spend with us and you think, oh, it would be so much more fun to spend three whole hours in an awesome rock block, then guess what? Contribute literally anything and you get access to the uh, RSS feed that is the pre-show, the post-show, all the shows in between. We're going to start doing a between show. Where uh, yeah. where we're just yeah. gonna black it out and cut it out, but you'll get to see it if... between the pre-show and the show show. No, like in the middle of the show. In fact, we're just starting the right now. In fact, we're doing we're right. doing the mid-show right now. Okay, so as a matter of fact, if you okay. if you are not a patron, get ready because we're just gonna riff on all of our best characters right now. <laughs> Ha 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 
<laughs> oh, that was the best part of the entire show. Oh, oh. my God. Yes. Jesus, uh, Herbert Christ. That was, holy shit. That was an amazing bit. That was great. That was so tight. Amazing. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you want to pay us money, go to patreon.com slash night attack because... If you do pay us money, you have a chance to be a part of the... Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Night Attack new Patreon name chant corner hour. So much. for the buck, fucko! <laughs> uh, hey, man. Uh... This one, I want to do something different. Instead of just moaning your name and 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 having somebody be creeped out while they're on the elliptical, okay. uh, I, I this one just it's 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 got a good flow to it. I, if you were gonna sing a sea shanty, if we could summon the spirit of maybe somebody oh. who knows a thing or two about sea shanties, oh, that's me, Brian. Okay, uh, uh, Captain Morgan, legally distinct entity from the one owned by the booze company. It's so good yes, to see no, you. Uh, I'm, I'm Captain Henry James Morgan, a parody of a real man who lived, not intellectual property by Diageo Beverage Company. Uh, relatable. Well, I, I, I'll tell you what, uh, I'm pretty sure our brand new patron is is somebody that you're familiar with. I, if I If I'm not... Mistaken, the two of you sailed at the seas and had some adventures, and you wrote a song about them. You know, maybe, uh, I don't know many sea shanties, Brian. You know, they're all ancient. None of them were invented within the last 40,000 years. <laughs> and wow. <laughs> they're very old. So I, 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 know, I know every sea shanty there is. Just go ahead and give me, give me the name, and I'll see if I can come up with something. Okay, well, uh, this one belongs to our newest Favoritist, brand new patron, Craig, Craig Watson. Watson. Oh my, there was a man named Watson. Ahoy, ahoy! He went down to the driving. Ahoy, ahoy! Got a coke and got some popcorn, and then he got shot dead. It was a sad tale for Watson, but now you know it's in your head. Oh, oh you can't stop the flow of information, and Watson couldn't stop that bullet. He died a sad death, but at least we sing this song. Mahoy! Craig Watson, an ancient sea shanty that I learned uh, not but a, a day after 40,000 years ago. Day after 40,000 years ago. What does that even mean? That's so amazing. <laughs> Shut up. I'm Captain Morgan. Oh, Craig Watson. That's an old That's an old one. You can't. That's something that you're, that you're old that your grandpappy would have fucked to. <laughs> oh, my grandpappy. That old Craig Watson sound. Fresh. He was on a uh, trap remix with cool shit. <laughs> you can't, you can't stop the flow of information just like he couldn't stop that bullet. That's an old line. A lot of a lot of people don't know that. Not in today's day and age, am I right? You don't learn that shit on Twitter. A legally distinct entity from other media companies. Thank you, Craig. Oh, uh, well, thank you, Craig. I'm off, boys. <laughs> oh, my Captain. Thank you, Captain. Uh, we also have one minute. Oh. We have one minute of time oh. for anybody who subs. Yeah, uh, sure. Surely you had a simple adventure this week that you can share. Uh, uh, sure. Yeah. Uh, 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 well, so uh, uh, we actually went to uh, sushi, a, a place called uh, 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 Shazen in in uh, San Francisco. Thank you, Curtis LaRock. You're so cute. So cute. Uh, it was, uh, uh, you know, uh, we, it's vegan sushi. Bab so cat. Babcat, you're so you're so Babcatty. Oh, she's so catty. Got, we got we got some okra rolls and uh, Crimson Zamboni. Got, we got the miso soup and and we had just been to Japan. Thank you, the so, Lenina. 
when we're like we're you can't help but compare when you've had stuff uh, from Thank from you, the Kurt sports. Mara, right? you're at but the one thing that Craig we noticed Watson. when we were when we were eating there was was just uh, kind of the the consistency of the rice is something that you really need to focus on idea. and because uh, uh, you know when when it's when it's sticky there's just something in the water. Thank you, Captain Jack three nine nine thirteen. Ten seconds. It just makes it something that you can't Thank forget. Thank you, Widget thirty three. You know, it's just it's it's something that that we Thank really. Thank you, ICU just, underscore underscore underscore. In oh, that's that's eh, great story, eh, Justin. Eh. Thank you, Jake King two oh six. Hey, by the way, real quick. So, uh, number one, you can always give us money. We we the, 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 you know, this bit is not the only time you can. Uh, and uh, just so we spell it out again, if you have Twitch Prime, and uh, uh, you don't subscribe to anybody, you just like this show, and you happen to have Twitch Prime, you listen on podcast. You probably don't even watch us on Twitch. All you got to do is go to twitch.tv slash night attack, and you can give us. Five dollars a month. All you have to do is remember to do it. You're not giving time. us. You're not giving us five dollars. You are stealing from the richest yeah. man on the planet. Richest yeah. man on the planet making giant dong shaped self flying robot rocket ships. You could mm -hmm. steal. He will never miss that two dollars and fifty cents. Yeah, says you. It's me, punching Jeff Bezos. I'll remember every one of them unless you take it from me. Oh, I bet you won't. That's why I make you do it every month. Earn a little two dollars and fifty cents per creator. Yeah, that's almost a dollar twenty-five for each of us. And nothing for Bryce. And nothing for me. <laughs> oh, Bryce! Oh, fuck you. Ow. Hey, fuck you, Jeff Bezos. Hey! I'm, I'm off to space. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put myself in a paint can and punch myself into orbit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoops, I ran into Qu Craig Watson. Sorry, I murdered you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, fuck Bryce. <laughs> anyway, oh, like fuck Bryce. <laughs> Boy, what a real asshole that puncher. Fucker. That, that punching Jeff the richest is. guy in the world. I don't want to get to talk shit on Bryce. <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Dickhead. I like the Craig Watson his ass. <laughs> so we have a game today. Yeah. Uh, this is from uh, two two lovely members of chat realm. Deepot, De I'm sorry, Deepo, Deepot Devoid. Chopra, Deepot Chopra, <laughs> Deepot Chopra, and and uh, uh, oh damn, I farted on and Austin Powers as the love guru. <laughs> no, I was I was gonna go for some other success name, and I did. I couldn't pick a Tony good one. Robbins. Yeah, that, that that seemed too much, and then Brian Tracy uh, seemed too niche, and then yeah, and then I thought, well, maybe I would go with uh, the editor in chief of Skeptic Magazine, Michael Shermer, who is giving okay. lectures sure. and where he debates G Deepak Chopra. Really, this is a good workshopping. No, well, and, and then I up. thought, let me just take a moment and deconstruct my failure, and maybe yeah. it will get interesting at some point. Yeah. and then I killed I Craig Watson. Not, huh? I just murdered maybe him. You can't stop information. <laughs> and, and he couldn't stop that bullet. <laughs> so uh, this is a game from uh, Depot Devoid and Little Red NDN. Thank you both very much. Uh, awesome. Ale or AI. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit. Can you tell the difference between a real microbrew name and a bunch of silliness made up by a neural network? All right, what do they feed this neural network? Because it can't have been as good... You saw? Do we talk about it on the air? That that Harry Potter book made out of predictive text. Not only did we not talk about that, we did not talk about our version, which was the Neural Net Diamond Club book. Which oh actually, yes, the the tool that we made that was last week's that was last week's after show and this week's pre show. Both of you guys weren't in the call by the time we were doing it. Uh, we used the same tool made by the same company who made that Harry Potter oh predictive uh, uh, text chapter i i can't remember the last time i laughed that hard to tears over just some printed words it was so great well yep. stay, stay tuned for the after show we've got the da vinci code oh right on uh so they let me see uh fake labels and blurbs were made by uh by the two men i uh, named in association with, with google image search ms paint wikipedia and grogtag.com fake beer names were created by a car mn neural network Trained on a list of real beer names by Janelle Shanae at AIWeirdness.com. So uh, I, I think it's pulled from a, a list of uh, uh, publicly available neural network generated 
um, uh, name this whole phenomenon is is shockingly like. And if you don't know what neural networks is, it's uh, giving uh, uh, giving basically a supercomputer a data set and saying, "Hey, find out all of the things that are related to these that data are in sets. common." Like, like for example, mm -hmm. for faces, if you get a thousand faces, it, yeah. it won't know what a face is, but it'll know. Well, the it seems like there's two sockets here, and there's like a lump in the middle, and and then the skin is kind of all over. I guess basically, mm -hmm. it's us watching computers the way that we watch infants learn to speak, and we laugh about how they mispronounce things, and it's hilarious. It's like, oh, dude, she's trying to say truck, but it sounds like fuck. How funny is that? And you take a video and you send it, and then they become better, smarter, and stronger than you, and then we're all dead. Right, and then basically. you're you wrap yourself in a protective bubble where you only listen to like-minded friends on Facebook and eventually they're taking care of you and you become frightened and aroused for reasons you don't understand and you just want to be left alone and you're afraid that Obama's still going to come stick his fingers in your milk. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, what a deep cut. What a, what a specific cut. Uh, yes, it's basically that. So uh, they, they've given us uh, uh, about 12 or so beer names. You guys are going to play against the doc here. You guys are going to team nice. up. Oh, good. good. This is my Brian favorite. Brian and I on the same team. Yeah. Good. So we got some rules here. The name is going to be either a real name uh, listed uh, exactly from the original brewery, or it's going to be a fake name exactly as output by the neural network. The label is either going to be a real label, label or logo as found on the brewery's website, uh, or it is a fake that uh, they made to F with you guys. The blurb is af the, the blur excuse me. The blurbs after the label. Could be exact copies from the brewery, or a bunch of horse apples, or a combination of both. Uh, and you have to guess, is it real or fake? An ale or AI? So, for wait example... Minute, hold on, wait, wait, wait. How, how is it half real and horse shit? I... That's what they wrote here. I, I think what they meant is, is uh, it sounds like they, they've padded everything out appropriately. So, it, at its heart, it is either yeah. fake... Or it is um, a real thing, real. but both of them are formatted and the gaps are filled yeah. in gotcha. so they can okay, be pre okay, okay. presented consistently. I'm, I'm going to tell you, I, I read through this doc and was uh, uh, properly fooled uh, with, with these. So, for example, we've got an, a test test beer here. Uh, F-L-B-E-R-C-A-I-P-A. -A. Uh, that is an okay. abbreviation. <laughs> All with, right. So we've got, uh, we've got what looks like a World War II propaganda poster. Of uh, or maybe World War One looks like maybe a doughboy uh, getting ready to to throw a a twenty two ounce uh, seven percent alcohol by volume uh, beer. So we got a blurb here. The Fort Lewis Brewing Early Riser Cascadian American India Pale Ale is an intensely hoppy American style IPA brewed exclusively with local Cascade hops. In honor of our troops, a portion of each sale goes to support the war the Wounded Warrior Project. Brewed Brewed by the Fort Lewis Brewing Company in Tacoma, Washington. Is this real or fake? Oh, this my game. God. This yeah. game. This is the is example. Amazing. One. Okay, number one, I think this is this is real because here's here's the other reason why, Brian. Uh, if it is in Fort Lewis, Washington, that's where the Cascadian Mountains are, right? So, like, that would have to randomly get those two data points. But we also know they they told us they're gonna spackle in the cracks on this stuff, and they might make it happen like somebody might so maybe, see maybe oh so maybe this is a fort lewis beer that has cascadia in it but it's not fort lewis brewing early riser Casca cascadian american india pale ale yeah this is so clumsy though this sounds like something you do like um uh, when yangling wanted to um start expanding they were like, nobody's going to know how to pronounce Yangling. They say, then just you know, tell them to call it a lager. Just to, and and yeah. for years, because it was a local thing in Philadelphia or Pennsylvania, you just say, give me a lager, and everyone knew you meant Yangling. Yangling, yeah. Uh, and it seems like you're going to condense this to Fort Lewis IPA. The flippa, and they, or or maybe they'll have something like real clever, like just just to add, just order and say, I want to give one to the boys, and then. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. then, uh, that didn't come out right. No, yeah. <laughs> Can I get Listen, one for the there boys? are some bars where that's very popular. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is this is the warm up. So, like, what do you guys? I mean, what do you guys feel? Uh, this is so clumsy. It it so screams neural network that I want to believe it's real. Like I feel right. it's a then trick. Let, let, let's just go real. It doesn't count. Yeah, uh, gentlemen, you said that the F L B E R C A I P A was real, and it is. 
fake. No! We're you know fine. what? In retrospect, it was pretty obvious that that's fake. It was pretty <laughs> obvious that it was like an 18 letter. <laughs> the Fulber Kaipa. <laughs> I mean, like, honestly, though, so like, like every place that I go it's drink so in, in Oakland and I'm sure in, in Austin, too, like you look up on that board and there's nothing that would shock you. There is no length of, of words. There is no oddness to that. There's well, no and, like, and, and, and there's no end to the cleverness of the titles. Like mm -hmm. one of the local beers made around the corner is called Chupa Hopra. Oh, yeah, based cute. on that, uh, that, uh, dude, that there there was one that what you got at uh, the wine store around the corner from from me that was the brown note and it was a dude shat pants. Yeah, that <laughs> was the logo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, like shitty underwear was the advertisement for this beer. Like there are no fucking rules apparently. Can I can I just say uh, this this trend of people bringing us new games is my favorite thing on the planet. Yeah. If you've like, got like, like mail at night TV, we'll send you free stickers. These gentlemen got some. Uh, please. Oh my God, this is the best. By the way. Our, our appetite and drive to make new games got Craig Watson a couple of years ago. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's your first. Well, especially because it was difficult, like, to keep, because information wants to be disseminated. Like, we would have to keep secrets from each other, and then yeah. the other person wouldn't understand the game <laughs> that the yeah. other person was that trying was to play That was always an them. inherent problem. <laughs> also, we used to come up with three in an episode. Go Gosh. back and look at those. Okay, here's your first beer. Zonker Stout. A rich, well-balanced foreign-style stout with a huge amount of roasted barley, as well as chocolate, black, and caramel malts. Zonker's high ABV and unique flavor will draw you in just like the fishing lure it's named for. Brewed by Snake River Brewing in Jackson, Wyoming. Gentlemen, Zonker Stout. Justin, I'm realizing two things. Number one... Yeah. Uh, this is a finely made logo, very good logo, and I totally believe it's on a beer. Uh, also, our fans are better than us at everything because I thought the last one was a really good logo as well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, no, seriously, I want to make stickers out of all these. <laughs> so, so uh, somebody hook me up with those. I want to make the fake the neural network beer uh, pack. Uh, oh my god, no, this is. I mean, my 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 impulse is real. Yeah, I think it's real too. It feels it feels a little bit. It's kind of on the nose to the Saran. Can you pull up Saranac Brewery? Uh, that, that's a local. That's New upstate York. New York. Saranac yeah. is, is upstate New York. But yeah. but this logo is, looks very reminiscent of how I remember that one. That was also one of my favorites. I think it has the mountain range though. That's that's the big because I think it, it's it's for the that mountain range in upstate New York. Yeah. Yeah, way. but I don't know. Uh, now that we know what we're up against, I mean, it seems like they would. Yeah, I guess it so does. It's like look. the Saranac one is. It uh, looks like there's a fisherman in the background. No, I also think goblet. they just did a a rebrand because that's not the that's not the old. That's not the one you remember as well, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, what are you guys feeling about? <sighs> I, oh, do you want to do house lager? Let's let's do real. I'm gonna say real. I'm a, I, I I agree. Real. By the way, that was another thing that uh, uh, now a lot of the bars around here they're like replacing their PBR with something called house beer. Oh, <laughs> okay. But it's just great because you're just like, yeah, like I'll just take a house beer. Like it's just the beer <laughs> of the house, and it's whatever. It's cheap as shit, but it's called house beer. I just thought it was like the smartest beer marketing I could think of. But go ahead. All right, here All we right, go. Real. Your, your answer of real is yeah. This one's real. Foreign style stout. What does that mean? Uh, From the, beyond the hinterlands. Oh, I didn't catch that. I, yeah. I, I, I want to suck your blood. I'm a beer. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I also do tech support, and I build your iPhone, and <laughs> well, I drive. Design a logo for 20 bucks on Upwork. <laughs> and also, I'm in Australia. I'm foreign, man. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here's beer number two, Dankering. Exclusively available. <laughs> Exclusively available at dispensaries in Alaska, Maine, Nevada, and Washington. This light-bodied pale ale is dry hopped with a mixture of hops, cones, and marijuana flour. A tincture of THC extract is added after the brewing process to bring you one of the most relaxing and unique ales you've ever experienced. Brewed by Wicked Weed Brewing in Sparks, Nevada. Gentlemen, dankering. Okay, now here, here's where we get into one of the whoopsie doodles of our theories because this logo looks pretty bad.
but that's exactly that's what, what I would expect <laughs> from somebody who's making a weed beer. <laughs> so the only thing is that there's no way that they've been able to spin that up in the half a year since weed's been legal there. Yeah, well, because I, 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 well, and, and, and just think about it from the licensing perspective. You know, you got alcohol. Uh, you know, the the. Uh, TABC in Texas, I don't know what they call it over in Colorado, but it's like, you're not allowed there. Remember all the trouble that we had to get to get our label approved for, for the wine that we did. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm going to say that's difficult territory. This has to be fake. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I don't think that they're allowed to make it now. Like for, for I, I've talked a lot with Mitsula about like, uh, uh, just how that process is going. Cause he's like in, in the business in the hospitality business. And I don't think you're allowed to make it now. So I'm going to say it's fake. All right, gentlemen, your answer on dankering. But, of, but I will say this. I will drink if it. If it were in Colorado or if it were in Washington State or Oregon, I would have been more likely to say it was real. Ah, all right, here we go. Uh, your answer of fake is... Ah. You know what? My joy of us being right was tempered by my disappointment that, that this does not exist, exist. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that I won't be having it in Las Vegas. <laughs> All right. Here is our third beer, Snot Beard. Yeah. Uh, uh, by the way, real quick, though, just go back to the weed beer. Uh, that's like the new far less interesting or sympathetic prohibition now is like like for for you know, now all these states are are legalizing it and everything and like it seems like there's a very clear momentum to things so like now the new fight is like let me smoke weed in a bar <laughs> like hey uncle sam get out of my god given right to smoke weed in a bar <laughs> you piece of shit boy that was a that was an eyebrow eyebrow razor the first time i saw that in la just hanging out uh at a bar and i was like is that am i smelling and then dude just rolls up puffing on the packs like hey bro what's up and i was like oh, wow well, I mean, that's yeah that that's kind of uh uh you know i guess you can you could smoke weed in a bar but you can't like <laughs> you can't like pull like a, a, a blunt out and smoke weed at a bar sure sure all right we got beer number three here snot beard Strong enough to keep you warm on a frigid crossing of the North Atlantic in search of plunder. Snot Beard Viking style mead is a honey brewed spiced ale in the Old Norse style, brewed by Viking Braggot Brewing in Eugene, Oregon. Snot Viking beard. what? Viking Braggot Brewing in Eugene, Oregon. Say that one slow. I and it's spelled like that too. <laughs> <laughs> so. This looks an awful lot like that brown note. <laughs> Fresh Viking Braggot <laughs> Brewery. <laughs> I I'm gonna say this 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 feels real. Um, it, it let me put it this way: mm -hmm. it feels real in a way like the branding is good, the backstory is good. It's got a cheeky enough title that implies that it would be some swill on a big uh, Viking boat, and it's you know at 10 percent ABV would match the story and stuff uh either this is real or uh i would like to purchase the rights to it <laughs> how about that uh, i will be i'm gonna say real i'm gonna agree with you real um and and oh and it's mead it's, it's mead yeah. viking style mead okay what does that mean well mead is like a honey wine Yes, Ooh, wait, hold honey on. Brewed, wait a yeah. ale. So wait, it can't be mead and ale at the same time, right? That's what I'm wondering. I wonder if this is some tri I don't think you can misleadingly brand it as a mead if it's a, because again, all that labeling law stuff. Mm. Ah, I'm going to back up. Now the only the, the problem here is I'm almost certainly wrong in my knowledge of what's right, but this sounds like it can't a, a mead is not a spiced ale. Any more than a cider oh. is a spiced ale. Yeah. Or whatever the fuck that mango drink is you're drinking is a spiced <laughs> ale. All right. It's a fruit wine. No, I see, yeah, yeah. This is my favorite bit. I'm the one who gives it to you, and then I mock so you for having it. shit for various <laughs> things. And we have so many of them left. It's gonna, the bit just keeps on giving. <laughs> one day I'm just going to be like, no, you drink it. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, you, I brought my own like, supply. <laughs> 
Did you, did you bring a couple to San Antonio when you canceled all the shoots last week? <laughs> <laughs> How, how was PAX, by the way? It was good. Yeah. Uh, we I went down on Saturday, and we spent l- almost all day at Dave & Buster's. Uh, oh, <laughs> well, of course. Of because course. of course you would. No, it was a lot of fun. It was great seeing everybody. Do they have a Minecraft at Dave & Buster's? No, they. but you know what they do have? Hold on. Real real talk? Where, yeah. Where yeah. Re- let's, get, let's get real. Hey, guys, quit being so fucking fake. <laughs> I For know, one yeah. second, hey, welcome we're, to we're our we're new segment. We're sick of your inauthenticity. Uh, audience, if, <laughs> if if you give a shit about David Buster's, if you give one, if you hey, give a no, shit, this is our bit. It's called real shit. talk. You tell it, I sell it. Go. Okay. Yeah. If you care about tickets at David hey, Buster's, hey, listen up, you fuckers. If you care about tickets, <laughs> tickets. I Kung swear Fu to God, Panda. What? The Kung Fu Panda game. The yeah. <laughs> That's what you want to play. Oh, you want to play? It. You want to play it? Got it. You will get a lot of. You tickets. can get like a thousand tickets space, easy. Motherfucker. Yeah, all you people are saying that you don't get a lot of tickets off the Kung Fu Panda game, <laughs> hate- motherfucker. You better come correct. I hate this bit. I know. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't but- the boss baby game, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's not weird. Is it real or fake? <sighs> fake. So we're going fake. Well, I mean, I if it, now it feels fake. Here's what I'm guessing: it's real, and they just fucked up sanding in some of the stuff in the in 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 the thing, right? Because well, so they said would, that they you might call it real or no. No, let's go fake. Fuck it, let's go yeah, fake. Fake, 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 fake. Gentlemen, your answer on Snotbeard of fake is. Oh! Good instincts. Good instincts. Three for three. Mm, 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 oh, mm. I think we got the first one wrong, didn't we? Yeah, well, the first one was practice. No, one, you, right? yeah. No, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're perfect. You're yeah. perfect. We're doing perfect. I like the fact that you said you didn't say we have a perfect score. You just said we are perfect. <laughs> <laughs> we are blessed, luminous creatures, not this crude flesh. <laughs> All right, here we go. The next one, beer number four, Blind Pig IPA. Blind Pig IPA is named for our mascot, Rudy the Pig, who loves nothing more than to chow down on the spent grains left over from the brewing process. This Northwest-style IPA is full-bodied, very hoppy, with citrus, pine, fruity notes, and a nice dry, bitter finish. Brewed by Russian River Brewing Company in Santa Rosa, California. Gentlemen. Not only is this real, I think I've drank it before. Uh, yeah, I believe it's totally real. It, this this has ho- homespun written all over it, like... The, this is just a small and well, and, and uh, 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 Russian River is one of the more famous uh, uh, breweries up here. They are in Santa Rosa. They they do like Pliny the Elder and Pliny the Younger. People like wait camp out for like nine years to like get a growler and then they uh, shit on themselves or whatever. Mm. All right, so you're gonna say real? Yeah, we'll say real. Yeah, Gen- gentlemen, your answer of real is oh yeah, correct. Oh. Good oh. job. Nice. Very real. All right, they blinded we'll... a real pig. They just they just gave him a real kick in the face. Well, after... <laughs> they're like, I'm sorry. Uh, they, they walk out. They're like, man, that was a big marketing brainstorm. We have a great idea. Uh, listen up, Charlie the pig. There's only one thing. <laughs> Why are they telling the pig? I mean, I mean telling this pig? Because yeah, they're friends with the pig, you know? But but it's like they, he drew the short straw on this one. <laughs> Hey, 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 look, uh, look, uh, uh, who likes looking at the sun? Uh, who likes these laser pointers? You're at a disco. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's beer number five, Triple Lock, a beer brewed specially for the closing days of the Triple Rock Social Club, a legendary punk venue in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Now continued indefinitely due to popularity, this fusion of Doppelbach and triple style ales has all the strength of a triple 9.2 ABV combined with the smoky dark malt palette of a Doppelbach brewed by Minnehaha Brewing Company in Minneapolis sorry Minneapolis Minnesota gentlemen triple lock in Minneapolis Iowa gotcha fucker (laughs) (laughs) man all right they're getting good they're getting really good The, the the logo's good enough for me to believe it's a small independent effort uh, Minnehaha seems like the name you would come up with if you started off thinking your brew would be a joke and then it started making money. <sighs> also, there are no shortage of small beer uh, uh, micro brews in that region, like like Wisconsin and Minneapolis, or, uh, Minnesota and shit. Like there, it's 
everywhere. Uh, yeah, and this one's just sparse enough on detail, though, that it really could be a uh, neural net beer. <clears throat> oh, people in the uh, chat are saying mini haha is a waterfall, which maybe that would make sense. <sighs> I, Ryan, I, I'm going to say I, I got uh, listen, I'm, I'm sniffing on it. I think it I think it might be fake, but I I, I, I also think it might be real. But, but it's, my, it, my, it's it, fake. Let, let me put it this way. There's nothing about this that feels fake to me, which is not sufficient for me to make me believe it's real. It's so yeah. beige, it's so quaint, it's so believable that I kinda wanna just call fake. I mean, but also it's like, it kind of isn't beige, right? Like it's got a backstory, it has a reason why it exists, it was a limited and now it became a permanent. I mean, like, if, if I had Google in my brain, I'd be able to find out if the Triple Rock Social Club, I mean, I guess I could Google all of these and then get the answer. That's not very helpful. <laughs> I guess I guess the, the, the game. Uh, I, 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 I'll defer to you, I'll, I'll let you be the, the the final say on this, but I, I I'm feeling fakey on it. I'm feeling. All right. I, I think both of our instincts were fake. Let's let's let's. Uh, let me put it this way: Ten years ago, if this was secrets or BS, I would have said this sounds totally real. Yes, and then you'd be like, "No, you're a liar and you're dumb," and then you would have been right. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you remember that game a lot different than I. Do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so gentlemen, you're gonna say fake? Yeah. Yeah. Triple lock is fake Woo! wow that was a close one that was a close one buddy perfect 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 game so far five for five we are perfect as humans <laughs> <laughs> all right we have uh we have quite a bit more here we're gonna jump right into number six the fucking hell pilsner <laughs> Named after a village of fucking in Austria, hell is the German word for pale and a typical description of this kind of beer. Brewed by Brauerei Waldhaus in Waldhaus, Germany. Gentlemen, <laughs> fucking hell pi Pilsner. Oh, God. No, oh God. This one just screams neural net so bad, right? <laughs> this screams AI. <laughs> is that Cherub, Cherub giving that devil a hand job? <laughs> yes. And grabbing the devil's and, <laughs> yeah, and 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 giving a little uh, uh yeah, a little tune in Tokyo. Hoo-ha! <laughs> oh, Brian's dying over here. <laughs> you can't hear it, but he's dying. <laughs> but you could also think that this is like beer nerds for beer nerds. This is like the, this is like a meme, right? This is like uh, uh fucking uh, oh, all our shit. So you're, you're saying you're saying, um. Oh, this is a possibility we hadn't considered that it would be a real beer that was playing a joke. Like they're doing a ruinum. They're like, oh, as it as you know, it comes from the village of fucking, and hell is the word for whatever. Uh, man, I don't know. Something something about it says this might be real. I feel like I want to meet anybody who. <laughs> actually does this but i think it's fake i you think it's fake uh, the only way yeah i do all right i'll follow you <sighs> gentlemen you're gonna say fake yeah gentlemen fucking hell pilsner is real oh my god all right first of all tell me whether or not fucking is a city in austria it is it is it is real really yes and okay. is held the word for pilsner beers it is indeed no no and we get fucking hell to austin for south by today we learned are you kidding me we've got to import some here we go see got to see we got to send wikipedia listening page. to us in or near australia Right now, we need no, to illegally... not Australia. It's Austria. 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 Sorry. <laughs> yeah, no. Because if you're in Australia, we're gonna need you to buy a plane ticket to <laughs> Austria. Exactly. Do some skiing. Australia. <laughs> we didn't invent Hitler. <laughs> Jesus. Invent him, like. You... Okay. Oh, there was there was some Reddit post that just said uh, massive prison overcrowding uh, in, in English prisons, and then it's uh, you see it, and it's just a sea of people at a festival outside of the Sydney Opera House. Oh, <laughs> <geez>. <laughs> oh man! All right, here we got beer number seven, 
Uh, hold on. I just, this is, how do you say this? Asphaltol. Norwegian for draft beer, this popular German style Pilsner well represents a style with a golden straw color, high foaminess, and a light but complex flavor. Brewed by Mother Os Brewery okay. in Drammen, Norway. Brian, we got led down a primrose path on this shit. Like, we thought it was just going to be a bunch of fucking micro brews, but then, then they had to go uh, out of the country. Now this shit's impossible. No, um, okay. Osfatol. You know, I lived in Norway for almost two years. You did. And, you know, my dad likes beer. The well, number did, one... Did, 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 did he get a couple Osfatols in his mouth? <laughs> <laughs> I am trying to. Uh, I believe. Can you, him, can you call him right now? Can we phone? Can we phone your dad <laughs> and ask him to be able to drink an os bottle? I will give you. I will let you. This is the old. This is a real phone a friend. I'm gonna give you. <laughs> okay, hold on. All right, it's ten o'clock at night. I'm gonna call. <sighs> Here he goes. Call mom and dad Brushwood home. Yeah. He's going to put on the night thong and, and answer the phone. <laughs> hey, the grumble. The grumble thong. All right. Good. Turn it up. Oh. Hello? Hey, Mom. Uh, it's, yeah. it's it's Brian. We're, we're on the air with Night Attack. I need your help. Uh-oh. What? <laughs> okay, we're playing a game, and there are beers that are either... Uh, made up by an uh, artificially intelligent computer, like just kind of gibberish stuff, or they're actual beers, and we're trying to figure out which is which. So um, you, uh, we, this one claims to be a Norwegian uh, pilsner uh, called As Fatol, A-A-S-S-F-A-T-0 slash. Remember the zero slash in yeah, Norway? Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, with a, with, and an L. Um, mm -hmm. Dad, Dad used to drink ESB, right? Was that, is, is that a thing? No, he drinks Fatol, uh, F A R T O slash L. What's the beer in Norway? Fatol. How do you, spell it again, Brian? Let uh, me put it on speaker. Okay. <laughs> hey, hey, Dad. Uh, uh, so the beer, the beer is F A T. Zero slash, I forget what it's called. Uh, looks like uh, an L. F A T zero slash L. Yeah, fart -ul. But it sounds it's, like it's pronounced like fart -ul, but it's fart -ul. Oh, so 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 you guys are saying it's real? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, here. Do you you want to hang on the line and find out if you're right? Oh no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here we go. All right. We're gonna say real. Brushwood family, your answer of real is correct. Yay! Thank you, Mom and Dad. <laughs> Get that ass. Get you that ass. Winners Get again. Ass. Bye bye. All right, bye. <laughs> <laughs> that could not have gone better, could it? <laughs> Dude, your dad swallowed that off. <laughs> There was no hesitation. He's like, it's pronounced fart hole. <laughs> He's like, yeah, we were doing night attack back when you were five. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. No, I got it. Took them all down. All right. We've got number eight here. Black Morning, a heavy brew perfect for those short winter days. Combining a traditional stout with a hefty dose of cold brew, locally roasted espresso, Black Morning pours dark but clear with a head of foam with the color of milk chocolate. Brewed by Renton Brewing in Renton, Washington. Black Morning. Washington. What a great cover story. Hmm. Now, these are real. Like, these, uh, like, like uh, combinations of, like, uh, 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 espresso or coffee or anything. Like, you see a lot of those around now. Yeah. Um, and uh, we're seeing a level of... of detail and design work on this this label that leads me to want to believe that they, they could have just pinched someone else's artwork and and modified it but i feel like this is a good design but it's also very similar to the design we saw for the snot beard which turned out to be fake yeah but also all beer labels kind of look the same like those like you know hipster minimalist yeah Brian, I'm going to say that this one is fake. 
like this is one that I, I see as more beige. Like this is one that I think is is trying to hide. Well, and and plus also, I mean, I don't doubt that there are blends. Uh, but remember, like Four Loco got yanked for the market for the crime of having caffeine and booze in the same drink. Never mind the fact that those same lawmakers went and ordered a rum and coke afterwards. You know. Uh. uh <laughs> Yes, John Stossel, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> They're white Russians with the raw milk. <laughs> what? After all, I'm sure that they went down to the local pub and ordered a rum and coke. I'm drinking one right now. We call to the witness stand John Stossel. John Stossel, this please the present to the case. We did not set that up in the show. I'm sorry. It's not to good. mention that many espresso stouts now line the taps of local brew houses. <laughs> Even Benjamin Franklin had one. <laughs> <laughs> but nowadays, they put him in jail for the crime of having coffee and beer at the same time. He'd have to go mix his own Os Fartol if he wanted to. Have it <laughs> Legislators want us to be more like Norway with Os <laughs> Fartols. Uh, uh, also, I, I, I'm looking at it. It looks suspicious that Black Morning pours dark but clear. The fuck is dark but clear? Oh, this is good. Uh, maybe we okay. Let's let's hear that description again. Sure. And I'm and and by the way, I'm I'm listening for for techno babble for for jibber jabber. Okay. A heavy brew, perfect for those short winter days. Combining a traditional stout with a hefty dose of cold brew, locally roasted espresso, black morning pours dark but clear with a head of foam the color of milk chocolate. Brewed by Renton Brewing in Renton, Washington. It's black morning. I don't know. I believe it. What is dark but clear? Well, not chunky or consistent uh, is what I think by clear, right? Pours dark. Like, for example, unlike uh, uh, when you pour a uh, – what I'm imagining is when you, when, when you pour a Guinness, it's, it's you know, just bubbles foamy all over the place. It's not pouring clear. Uh, Shift Lock says it means it's not cloudy. Cloudy. Yeah. But it does have the uh, head, the foam, the color – of milk the chocolate. head of foam, the color of milk chocolate. Yeah, no, that sounds right. That sounds right. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say this sounds real. This sounds real and delicious, and I'd like to have one, please. All right, I'll go with you. Real. You're gonna say real, <sighs> gentlemen. Black morning is no fake, 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 fake. Damn. Renton Brewing does not exist. <sighs> Renton Brewing. Those Typical assholes. Renton. Motherfucker. Uh, Dark but clear. <laughs> Dark but clear. Dark but clear. All right, we've got uh here we'll 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 cut this off. They gave us a lot. We're going to do two more. This is number 9. Does anyone remember Laughter IPA? <laughs> <laughs> Brewed in the memory of year 2016 and now continued for 2017 for obvious reasons, this IPA presents notes of herbal dank resin galore intertwined with a liberal helping of pineapple slash stone fruit and mild spice slash citrus finish. Smooth, soft malt finishes the experience. Brewed by Single Cut Beersmiths in New York, New York. Dude, and the label looks amazing. It looks like it belongs in a Yellow Submarine movie. It's got that oh, no, evocative. This is, this is the 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 Led Zeppelin thing, right? Does anyone remember? La Does anybody remember Laughter? It's like the live album of Led Zeppelin, where he says, "Does anyone remember Laughter?" It was, I think, it was like it was like a Ron and Fez bit or Nobie and Anthony bit where they always made fun of that. Does anybody remember Laughter? Whenever, whenever a joke would bomb, they would oh. play. Does anyone remember laughter? <laughs> but if it doesn't mention, like, Led Zeppelin, then Yeah, I there's mean, no, no way I they're going to license that without him. I think it's fake. Fake, but, fake, fake. But, 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 but also, would a, would a robot come up with that? Yes. I think so. All right. So Herbal dank resin galore. Intertwined. Herbal dank resin galore also. <laughs> Something that reads a little cyber babbling. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm going to say fake. All right, gentlemen, your 
answer of fake for does anyone remember laughter IPA is incorrect. No! It's real. Does anyone remember laughter IPA? Now what? we're going into our last question, our last beer here. You guys are, what are we at? Six? Herbal Dank Resin Galore. What the <sighs> fuck is Herbal Dank Resin Galore? Uh, uh, she's uh, Pussy's sister. <laughs> 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 oh, hello. I'm so glad you made it to my dinner party. Here's my daughter, Pussy, and her sister, Herbal Dank Resin. Dank resin. <laughs> Pussy, Herbal Dank Resin, Joseph, please come down. Mom, well, no, no, she, she always knew she was in trouble when she called her Herbal Dank Resin. <laughs> <laughs> herbal Dank Resin, you get down here this minute. <laughs> oh. All right, here we go. We have one. Oh, last it really is. It's just the the electric company logo. Yeah. That he did, uh, or basically, yeah. It look, yeah, it looks a lot like it. All right, here's our last one, number ten. The fine stranger. The <laughs> I know this one. It's where you lay on your hand and watch uh, masterpiece theater. <laughs> <laughs> The Fine Stranger is a Saison, sorry, Saison farmhouse ale style beer brewed in Old Nation Brewing Company in Williamston, Michigan. It pours golden and cloudy in color with a nice foamy white head that erupts. Stop that. That erupts with a burst of hoppy <laughs> aroma. Behind you is an orchestra that just couldn't no. hold their powder. <laughs> so they just start hitting with a. Uh, I'll, I'll say that one more time. Pours golden and cloudy in color with a nice foamy white head that erupts with a burst of hoppy aroma. Gentlemen. The Fine Stranger. No. Stop playing that. <laughs> They're trying to play us off? <laughs> <laughs> the Fine uh, Stranger, a double dry hop saison. I'm still not over herbal dank resin. Yeah, no, I'm with you. Like, like my, I've been damaged by that last one. <laughs> Does anybody remember laughter? I mean, so I guess we'll just do... I'm, I'm gonna say fake. I'm gonna say fake because yeah, I, I would say fake just because it's 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 saison saisons and IPAs are just not the same. Yeah, the same and thing. also here's the other thing: is a computer wouldn't have had any way to come up with. Uh, does anyone remember laughter? That specific reference, but, but they, it but would do the something stranger. The fine it? stranger. The fine stranger, right? Yeah, I'm gonna say fake, fake, fake. Back. You guys are set wait, on wait, break. hold on one second. Where does it say it's from? Uh, Williamston, Michigan. Yeah, yeah Williamston, right. Michigan. He's Old definitely... Nation Brewing Company. Yeah, I'm going to say fake. You're going to say fake. Gentlemen, your answer of fake for the fine stranger is... Stop lighting the audience! Technically wrong. Technically wrong. Wait, the answer is both? The answer is both. The neural network actually came up with a real name of a beer. The Fine Stranger is a real beer named by the neural network. Pretty cool if you ask the writers of this quiz. That is, that's pretty fucking That's hilarious. legit in my book. That's, that's cool. legit in my book. Well played. Wow. So with a score of one, two, three, four, five, six out of ten, I'm going to say you guys win. Yay! Right. Now, now, now. I can't believe that I lost the I am the winner of this lame ass podcast game song oh, and dip. you we know what? never oh. found it and we can't remember who made it and it's 10 years ago or oh, man geez. if I if it wouldn't require 10 minutes of my time right now some I think Stephen Cogswell do, do you have a lead uh recreated one made a new winner song and oh. I I don't know where it is exactly. Oh, that'll be great. Next that'll week. be next great. Week, next week, next okay. week. Next week. Radio next week teams. somebody will win and we'll play a song and it'll be a great time. Right. If yeah. you've got a game that you want to send into the show, mail at nightattack.tv that's m a i l at nightattack.tv send it in with a link to a Google Doc or uh, if you can give us anything. 
Uh, yeah. And if we D- use Depot it, Devoid in the chat says, I'll get you next time. So I'm assuming that's uh, our quiz creator. That's right, Depot Devoid. Uh, although both of them, free stickers. If you make a game, you get free stickers from stickers or DIAF.com. Mm-hmm. Stickers or DIAF.com. Get stickers. That's right. And if you want to find out more about games or help uh, get in early, follow the show on Twitter at Night Attack Show or join the Discord where we talk and work some of that stuff out sometimes, nightattack.tv slash Discord. Wait, uh, Mike TV has it? Has... Oh, oh! It was Mike TV who helped work on it. Okay, hold no. On. Uh, save. Oh, oh, the new one, the, the, new, new, one. the new one, not here. the old one. Oh, great! Here we go. We can okay. This. Someone is a loser when it's saying that it's you, but you're not the winner. We know that much is true. If you were the winner, then you would have won. But that's something you didn't do. Someone is a winner, but it's not you. This is a, that's a loser song. Someone. Yeah, like. loser, we're not saying that it's you, but you're not the winner. We <laughs> this is the reverse we won! If you were the winner, then you I mean, this is called If You Were the Is this the right thing? Someone is a winner. I mean, this is a great song. This is a good song. I don't think Mike TV saying there's a Cogswell and Mike TV collaboration. I don't know if this is it, oh, though. Oh, wow. Um, well, regardless, it's good. Historians will, will only know the answer 100 years from now. Historians will also know that you can shout out your own projects by going to Diamond Time. Diamond Time is where we read about what you guys got going on. You can list it yourself at reddit.com slash r slash diamond club. The sticky post right there at the top is where you need to go. Our beginning uh, Diamond Time listing is W. Scottis one He says, hey, Diamond. W. Scottis one here. During 2016, I began writing show notes and articles for the Diamond Club Wiki, DCTVpedia. Unfortunately, through last year, I just kind of stopped doing it because it took up so much time that I didn't have. Separately, some chat room folks have wanted me to start a Patreon for the longest time, so I thought, why not combine them? That's right. You can head on over to patreon.com slash wscottis1 right now if you'd like to support all the things I do in Diamond Club, including writing for DCTVpedia, the Twitch streams I do, and the other random Diamond Club projects. Again, all the info is in patreon.com slash wscottis1. Uh, meanwhile, uh, oh man, I can't even say this. Uh, Adden Talon, Adden Talon, Thomas Jefferson, Adden Talon, Brad and H. That's literally what it says. That's his flair. It's just, you just got to read the, uh, Diamond Club, I need your help. A friend of mine went missing early last Friday from his home in St. Louis. All efforts to contact him and track him has failed. So we're spreading as wide of the internet awareness campaign as possible. More info, photos, and printable flyer are available at bit dot ly slash find nathan that's capital find capital nathan capital f word capital n uh can, can, can we can we get to know nathan real quick uh, uh see what's going on yeah we've got a well we've got the the missing persons flyer here for nathan jetco uh God, last in me. st louis if you're in the st louis area please keep an eye out we got a nathan. lot of diamond club fans in the st louis area that's one of the places we keep talking about going to uh, yeah, by the way, uh, White Matrix, White uh, Matrix Hatchback is what he was driving in, uh, uh, 2009 Toyota Matrix. So yeah. go ahead and make sure that you keep an eye out for Nathan. Very good. Uh, and uh, Nanook86 says, hi, Diamond. Pretty sure that many of you guys were into Legos as a kid. Well, I just started to get back into Legos, and I've been following some streamers. One of those Lego streamers, Brainy Bricks, is doing a fundraiser on Sunday, January 21st. He's attempting the Guinness Book of World Records for the longest barefoot brick walk. Oh, Jesus Oh, Christ. this is great. Brilliant. Uh, yeah, you heard it right. He's going to attempt to walk 120 feet across Lego bricks with no shoes. He's raising money for a Fairy Bricks, which is an organization that donates brand new Lego sets to children in hospitals. Brainy Bricks chose them after hearing news that one uh, of the Fairy Bricks vans was broken into and someone stole over 2,000 new Lego sets that were supposed to go to children in hospitals. Anyway, I urge you guys to help out for a great cause and see somebody try to walk across 120 feet of Legos. You can find out more about the attempt, donate money, and watch the craziness. That is the Barefoot Brick Walk at YOLO420.com slash Brick Walk. A great cause. Awesome uh, 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 shout out here, uh, Nanook86, and also amazing use of the uh, uh, the, the the URL shortener, yolo420.com, brickwalk. 
Simple to say, simple to hear, no uppercase letters. Great job, Nanook86. Hey, meanwhile, uh, let's take a moment to at least acknowledge the movie draft. I don't think we have a movie Welcome draft minute. Welcome to your final we movie draft minute presented by CosmicRadio.tv so. oh. for the 2017-2018. No, yeah, I think, same as last week. week. I, I think he, he we declared it. you the winner. We can play it, though. <laughs> no, 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 I mean, why bother? Why bother? What are we going to learn? Really? Wait, we Come just on. take a look at the standings here. Uh, oh, hey, Team Jury's in the league with $700 million. Uh, dude, we were talking about this last night on Cord Killers. So well-deserved. Like, this was a picture perfect season because the best seasons are one where everybody's annoyed because it's so obvious who the winner is going to be and everybody's wrong and and you basically tom was saying you did our exact strategy but just better you were just better at it you made better picks than we did it was awesome He's doing a great dance right now. <laughs> this plays well for the take, audio. Take that, Watson. It's like kind of, it's like kind of uh -huh. sexy, but kind of perverted. Look, this is uh, a great moment. I'd like to thank, uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, my co, my my teammate, my co-creator, uh, uh, Brett Roundsville. We got to have him back on so he can gloat as well. Uh, saw Jumanji, by the way. Yeah. How was it? It's great. You yeah, know they, you know they used to have these things in movies back in the eighties, uh, wholesome dick jokes, like <laughs> wholesome? jokes like where like kids like made jokes about penises, but they weren't like ah oh, come and jizz and fucking like. There's like three or four wholesome dick jokes in Jumanji, like it, it, it's it's uh, 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 oh, uh so so like hearkening back to uh, something around the 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 tier of. Uh, I see your Schwartz is as big as mine uh, from Spaceballs, like that. Yeah, and even then it would be like kind of like more like a, you know, a kid calling each other Dick Breath and ET or something like that, right? Like just just stuff that that is born of innocence and not necessarily of like it's like, like the difference between a dick joke made vulgar. by a kid. There you go. So so, so it's it's, it's genital focus but not vulgar. Exactly right. Yeah. Uh, uh, and there's there's a uh, look, it, it's it's a great movie. I, I, I can I can understand why it's done as well. By the way, as of this week, made more money than Justice League, which uh, I don't know if you've heard has Wonder Woman, Superman and Batman. in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, what a weird time for movies. It is. Yeah. All uh, right. Yeah. So what do uh, we learn what do we, to me? What do we learn this uh, this week here, Justin? Well, Brian, we learned that uh, 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 somebody remembers laughter, and they made a beer out of it. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, hey, I just remembered. I didn't learn, but uh, but uh, keep an eye out for uh, pretty cool announcements uh, coming up on the Modern Rogue. We're really, really excited Where about Where should they follow this. you to find that? Uh, oh, uh, at Twitter. At Modern Rogue Show. At Modern Rogue Show on Twitter. We, 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 have, we have a Twitter We now. have a Twitter. We have a Twitter. Woo! And we have an announcement. And we guess what? Hey, uh, think about this. Doesn't have to do with more episodes. I'm not announcing. We're not announcing more episodes or any of that garbage. Not a great. <laughs> this is a great tease. It's a better, better. It's better than more episodes. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah. I think uh, uh, we learned that uh, uh, Craig, man, uh, uh, a lot of lessons. <laughs> Craig Watson, boy, that that information just wants to escape, but but not yeah. when Cat Morgan's singing about it. <laughs> oh, man, it's an ancient sea shanty. He didn't just come up with it. Uh, so, uh, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Hey, dude, uh, we love you guys. Discord. Yeah, we'll see you next Tuesday. Night attack. 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 Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>